Hi there, this is Rick Clark, day three, 21 days of glory. And today I want to talk to you about a leadership crisis. Yes, in our land, perhaps in your family, but also in the Bible. The story comes from Exodus, where God says to Moses in Exodus 25, I want you to create a sanctuary so that I can dwell with my people people. And then for 40 days, Moses is up in the glory cloud with God, but Aaron had a leadership crisis of his own. The Bible says he let the people get out of control. He created a golden calf. They fell into sexual sin. And when Moses came down on the mountain, he had the, the, the two tablets of the Ten Commandments, the covenant with him, and he smashes them as if to say, oh, you folks, you broke the covenant with God. Well, true Christian leadership knows how to live in the presence of God. You can live in the presence of God, and you can bring your people into the presence of God. We need leaders just like you who know what to do and, and how to follow Moses' example in this case. You see, Moses, he, he said, God... Even though you've told us that you will not now go in our midst, I want to talk to you about this. He was a great intercessor. So he says, God, show me your glory. He understands God wants his glory to be known among his people. And so God does that. He hides him in the cleft of the rock, passes by him, and declares his name, his character to Moses. Moses says, this is Exodus 34 and verse 9. He says, hey, since I have found this kind of favor in your sight, go with us. Let the Lord go in our midst. And God agrees. And he says, all right, I'm going to create a new covenant. We need a new covenant in this land. You might need a new covenant in your own life. A new commitment to live in the glory, to cry out, God, show me your glory. But then don't forget, God wants to dwell with his people. You bring the presence of God into your family, to your disciples, into your church, into your workplace, into your classroom. You be the leader who says, I will dwell in the glory of the Lord, and I will acknowledge his desire to dwell among his people, and I will help bring the presence of God to people. That is glorious leadership, and I believe you can do that. Be a leader by dwelling in the glory of the Lord today.